Hello, my name is Laura Bowman and I am a sophomore at Syracuse University. The following material is written by me alone and represents my own personal opinions on my selected topic. Web 2.0 websites are the future of web-based communication and hosted services. Unlike the previous Web 1.0, which created a network as platform user service, Web 2.0 gives users the ability to do more than just retrieve information. Combined with the earlier facilities of Web 1.0, Web 2.0 now allows users to run software applications completely through the browser. Users of Web 2.0 websites can also own the data on a site and have control over that data. These sites are very user-friendly and often have social networking aspects as well. Whether aware of it or not, a large majority of the population is involved with this second generation of the web. Such websites as social networking sites, wikis, communication tools, and falsonomies all fall in the category of Web 2.0 sites. People are able to collaborate and share their information online in ways that were not available with Web 1.0. One of the most popular and well-known of these Web 2.0 sites is arguably Last.fm. I was a Last.fm newbie when I first went onto the website. I wanted to see what this website offered and how it functions as a Web 2.0 site. Last.fm, the social music revolution, is a free online site offering internet radio and an ever-growing music community. Over 20 million people have discovered the benefits of Last.fm and have made it the world's largest social music platform. Through my investigation of the site, I was easily able to navigate myself through all that the site presents and get a general idea of how it works and what it has to offer. Last.fm users create a user profile complete with their musical taste and detailed records of the songs that they have most recently listened to. Users are able to either listen to music through online radio stations or through their individual computer library. Once a profile has been set up and the users start to listen to the choice of music, the site offers recommendations towards similar radio stations or bands that seem to fit the user's personal taste. Users with similar tastes in music are also able to interact with one another and share musical opinions. Last.fm offers event calendars of what is going on musically around your area. Local concerts and events are easy to find. Through my trial and error of searching the site, it is easy to see why more than 20 million people have decided to become a part of Last.fm. Without having previous knowledge of the site, I was able to easily navigate myself throughout the pages. The site is clearly formatted and easy to follow. A new user should have no trouble getting started and after no time enjoying all Last FM has to offer.